Hello, hello. Hello, Nayeli. Hello, Maria. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Luis. Good evening. Hello, Luria. How are you today? I'm fine. How was your weekend? It's so far, so good. So far, so good. Excellent. How was your weekend? Hello, Andrea. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Byron. No teacher. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Dennis Adonai. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Hello, Hailin. How are you? How was your weekend, guys? What did you do this weekend? How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? Really great. Just work. Hey, Nuria, tell me about your weekend. Where do you work? In a bakery. Oh, really? <laughs> and did you make it's any... My, it's my cousin bakery. And so now I'm just selling. Oh, nice. Nice. Did you work both days, Saturday and Sunday? Yes, of course. <laughs> God. Oh, no days off. No. A lot of work, a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> For her. <laughs> I got the same sound there, you still. Oh, that's not yeah. good. Hey, tell her, hey, cousin, I need a commission. A commission. A bonus. <laughs> Sales commission. Yes. Yes. Hello, okay. Martin de Jesus. How are you? Hello, Nayeli. Welcome. All right. Hi, teacher. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello, Andrea Esmeralda. Welcome. All right, guys. Welcome back. I hope that everybody had an awesome weekend. My weekend was also very busy, but I feel good. Um, did anybody start working on section number three? Did you did you do section number three? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. We're going to go ahead and hop on section number three. Eh, si me hace el favor, eh, ¿quién tiene las noticias encendidas? Que la puede poner en silencio, por favor. Gracias, Nuria. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at section number three. Section number three, time for a change. Time for a change. We're going to be looking at this section over here. Build your English language skills with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Ooh, I like this topic, houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. 
Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? No teacher. Can you hear me? Okay. No teacher. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Hi everyone. Be able to the, give your opinion about houses opinion and apartments. About houses and Additionally, apartments. you'll be able to evaluate. Okay, which one do you like? Which one do you like? Both, Both of them. Both. Both of them. Do you them. like this one or this one? Both. I don't like this one. It looks Why? like a, it looks like a hospital or a uh, clinic or something like that. No color. This is uh, an apartment. I don't know. Small apartment. Yeah. But the furniture has some. It's, it's really small. It seems an, an apartment. Yeah, it looks and very. The, and the other um, one is white. like. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have any. House. It doesn't have any color. It's white. It's, I don't know. I don't like it. This one is nice. I like this one. Wooden floors. I like the design at the top of the ceiling. I like those. Uh huh. It looks more. It looks more like a like a home, right? I, I like the black countertops. I like the green sofas, the big windows. I like the dog, the rugs. Yeah, I, I like this one more. All right, let's check it out. Let's listen to the video and then we will start the discussion. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, I like that, I like that. You ate your own house and apartment. Can everybody hear? For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Can everybody hear? Apartments are too small. Yes, yes, Can everybody hear? But houses okay. are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Okay, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it. So I want you to pay attention to what he says. What did he say? What did he say? Uh, house is more, more expensive. Right, he says houses is more expensive. Are more expensive. And what did he say about apartments? Apartments is more cheap. Apartments. He said uh, are too small, too small. for beds. Huh? He says houses are more expensive. And then he says apartments are too small for pets. Uh, who can tell me what is the meaning of two? And the other one is two. What is the difference between two and two? What is the difference? Uh, two is también uh -huh. o algo así and to es, es como dirigir a algo oh uh, Maria excellent Maria good job that is correct somebody else somebody else Somebody else? Nobody. Okay, let me give you some examples. So, when you say uh, two with two O's, you can have uh, two different meanings. For example, if I say to you, um, I love uh, sopa the gallina india and then you respond me I love too. You. me too All right but if i say to you i love to go jogging in this case is the 
infinitive. So, or if I say to you, it's too late. Um, it's too late. Uh -huh. Sorry, the plane, sorry, the plane already left. You are too late. late. Too late, right? So two in this context is a different meaning, right? Or for example, you say, I don't like to eat jalapenos. They are too spicy, right? Spicy. Like, like too much, too much. I love that. You like jalapenos? I love jalapenos. Really? Really? <laughs> Me too. Okay. Me too. Okay, okay. All right, let's listen. Let's continue listening. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Okay, so in this case, we hear the the example. He says, apartments are too small for pets, right? So it's too small, too small. So it's too, oh, oh, too small. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Okay, so we say apartments are big enough. Aren't aren't big enough no, for families for families. Right, maybe for a, a bachelor or a single person, you can have one. But a family, you need a house. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Okay, that's a good one. Apartments... Apartments are... Doesn't have... Apart, apartments don't have enough, enough. parking spaces. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. All right. Are just as expensive as houses. Uh, apartments have just as many expenses as houses. I don't agree. I don't agree. Uh, I think houses have more expenses than apartments, yeah. but. That's what they say. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Okay, apartments Houses don't aren't as have... safe as apartments. Oops. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Okay, we'll just repeat it later. Houses <laughs> cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. 
Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. So let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations, are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. 
but now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns and a couple of things will change and so let me present the formula at this time and I'm going to show you what kind of things will change well first of all um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives we're going to have a subject so in this case we're going to say apartments okay that's going to follow a verb in this case it's no longer the verb to be so that's the first thing that changes we're no longer using the verb to be so in this case we're using any other kind of verb in this case it happens to be that that's on a negative so we, we're going to say don't have that's uh, the verb is on its negative form and then this follows enough so opposite from adjectives where we would include the adjective first when we make evaluations using nouns we no longer use the adjective first we're going to include enough and then we're going to include the noun so let me give an example here don't have enough and then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include so in this case don't have enough parking spaces okay uh, so the noun is parking spaces and then you can think of a complement if you will so you can include something else there so for example uh, what could that be don't have enough parking spaces for people right that could be the complement but in this case the noun is parking spaces and quickly I want to talk about nouns so what are nouns what are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses okay what is the meaning of nouns what is a noun noun nombre no in english nombre. noun what's a noun person it's the name of a person animal place place and things animal things and abstract ideas, right? For example, if you say, I had a dream, I had a dream, I have an idea, right? So those are called abstract ideas. Those are nouns. Yeah. Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And, of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? Money! So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money. Right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. Depends evaluate on where you live, right? your house. And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives, such as the ones that are here. And of course, following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. Okay, so I would like for us to look at this vocabulary. Everybody, please listen and repeat. Comfortable. Comfortable. I want you to notice that I didn't say comfortable. I didn't say that. I said comfortable. 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 Convenient. 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 
Dangerous. 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 Dark. 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 Bright. 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 Expensive. 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 Huge. 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 Not huge. hug. Hug is another word. This one is huge. 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 All right. So we got two words that are very similar. We have hug. Repeat. Hug. 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 Huge. Hug. Huge. 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 Small. Huge. Small. Small. Inconvenient. 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 Modern. 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 Noisy. 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 Private. 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 Quiet. 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 Safe. 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 Small. 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 Spacious. 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 Space. And I'm pretty sure that you can think of more. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that you can think of more. I'm pretty sure that you can think of more. Okay. Uh, at this moment, do you guys have any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about the meaning? Uh, questions of anything related to that topic? Everything I have a question. Catherine, yes. Okay, um, comfortable. Comfortable. When we talk about prices, is like cheap or no? Uh, well, it depends. It depends. Um, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say that you are a manager in a company. And your salary is four thousand dollars per month, and you go to, uh, let's say, to have breakfast at Mister Donuts. How much is a, a breakfast at Mister Donuts, more or less? Five dollars. Yeah. Well, it's more expensive now. I went. Yeah. On Saturday, Saturday morning, I went to Mr. Donuts uh, to have breakfast, and I bought uh, two eggs, uh, two sausages, uh, a little piece of cheese, uh, one bread, orange juice, uh, normal orange juice, and mm -hmm. a tartaleta and beans and, and, and rice. Eight dollars. Yes. Okay. So for me, that's expensive. It's not comfortable. But okay. if my if if my salary is four thousand dollars a month, it's comfortable. Yes. Or, for example, if I have breakfast in Clavo y Canela, expensive. Too much expensive. But if I earn $4,000 a month, it's comfortable. Yeah. Or maybe the combo in Burger King, the croissant breakfast, is $3. Ah, that's comfortable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I go to Margot, 
and have a breakfast is expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very expensive. <laughs> So it just depends. Yeah. It depends on the person, really. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, Catherine. Thank you for the question. Okay, guys. So what you're going to do in this activity is uh, I would like for you guys to go ahead and take a look at the exercise. And you're going to... Oh, it's time for the attendance. It's time for the attendance. All right, let me take the attendance. When I call your name, please say presente. I don't want you to say presente. I'm so happy. I feel happy, presente. I don't want you to say it like that. I want you to say presente. <laughs> Look at Byron. Byron's like, <laughs> all right, are you ready? Andrea. Yes, teacher. Andrea. Present. Present. Okay, present. Andrea. Okay. Andrea Esmeralda. Present teacher. Excellent, Andrea. I like the energy. Angel. Present teacher. Excellent. Byron. Present teacher. Very good. Dennis. Present. Awesome. Hailing. Hai Ling, absent. Catherine, Hi, Joanna. Hai Ling escribió en el chat. Present. Okay, present. Hai Ling. Catherine. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Kenya. Kenya. Present. Oh, present. Thank you. Kenya Yamilet. Uh, my name is Kenya Yamilet, but when you say only Kenya, I. <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Um, Kenya Roxana. Okay, Kenya Roxana is absent. Y Kenya Yamilet is present. Thank you. Luis. I'm here, teacher. Good job. Maria. I'm here. Very good. Martin. Present, teacher. Excellent. Moises. Absent. Nayeli. Present teacher. Very good. Nuria. Present. Awesome. Rebecca. Present teacher. Good job. Cindy. Here. Excellent. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is you're going to come over here on the platform where it says discussion. And over here where it says añade una publicación, you're going to give me evaluations with adjective nouns. You're going to put my house. Oh, see if you have an apartment, you're going to say my house. Uh, part. It depends where you live. And I want you to give me five examples describing your house or your apartment, right? For example, you can say 
my house has enough space for a pet. Or you can say, my apartment does not have enough light. I want you to give me five examples and then you're gonna go and VR. Any questions? Any questions? This is it a homework. Yes, is what is your question? I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Where what I I'm going to do that. Oh, right, right here on section number 3.1. Evaluations mm. with adjectives. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna work in pairs. I'm gonna give you five minutes. I'm going to activate multiple participants, share the screen so that you can share the screen with your classmates. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Awesome. No. no. Oh. Ready? No, I don't know what I can write that. Uh, can you share your screen with me, Nuria? Okay, maybe because I'm in my cell phone doing this class, but let me see. Uh, Luis Miguel, let's go. Cindy, let's go. Catherine, let's go. Kenya, let's go. Andrea, let's go. Maria, let's go. Eileen, let's go. Dennis, let's go. Cindy, let's go. Martin, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Martin de Jesus, Cindy Carolina, Aileen Lorena, let's go, let's go, let's go. Cindy Carolina, let's go. Aileen Lorena, let's go. Kenya Yamilet, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cindy, Cindy, Aileen, let's go, let's go. Hello, hello. I don't see you working. Andrea Dayanar, Angel Isaac, Dennis Atonai. Hi. I want to see you working in a group. I want to see you working in the group. What are you doing? Uh, well, I say hi, but <laughs> I don't have answer, so I start. Okay, I'll put you in own. another group. I'll put you in another group, and we're going to leave them here. Okay. Okay, guys. Hi. To uh, incorporate Andrea because her partners are not participating. So Byron, Luis Miguel, Nayeli, Andrea, and Rebecca, please work together. Hi. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Okay. One student can share the screen if you want to. Okay. No, no entendí lo último, lo siguiente. Uh, he said that one of us can share the screen. So the other, we can see the, what is she or he writing. Okay. Okay, Andrea, um, <laughs> other example? And my homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we? Uh, 
Bueno. Por ejemplo, my house don't have enough space. Uh -huh. Other example. Uh, my house has enough um, has garden. Oh, okay. Sí. Uh, my house has too big big place to play no sé cómo se dice patio chart chart can be like chart um... chart chart uh -huh. my my house has a Big yard to play to. No. ¿En qué momento tengo que, que meterle la palabra to? Um, it's. My see. house has two yard, big yard. Mm -hmm. Subject, bear, enough, now, complement. Uh, my house have um, too many rooms. Oh. <clears throat> oh, well, I don't know if that's correct. Too many rooms? I don't know. Maybe I can ask. <laughs> okay. Okay. Byron, uh, can you say another option? Yeah. It's, uh, in my house, that's saying how it's paid for a car. Okay. Maybe my house is small, but Pretty or beautiful? No, pretty. No. My house. House. My house don't have enough parking space. My house. Abiga, eh, Rebecca, can you repeat sí. eh, the last one sentence? Eh, my house. My house don't have enough parking space. Oh, my house don't have don't have enough enough, enough uh, mm -hmm. second floor. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I am positive. Mm. My house have enough. Enough or two? Mm. Mm. Ah, estoy confundido, estoy confundido con eso. Ajá, este tema está un poco <ríe> interesante. Ajá, porque mm. creo que, que con positivo era tú. Espérame, aquí creo que no te... Quiero ver... En positivo... Eh, no, positive ah, Apartments no. aren't big enough for families, tengo. Positive form. Maybe I can show. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Aquí está. Negative, I don't. Road. This is the positive form. No, is is negative, but because this is uh, apartments are uh -huh. Mm -hmm. But, oh, um, well. mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't uh, well I tweet so <laughs> in po eh, o sea que en positivo si lleva mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. subject my house don't have enough mm -hmm. Parking. Mm -hmm. Don't have enough, enough parking spaces. Ah, <laughs> there is. <laughs> uh, can be another thing. My house. Uh, uh, no. my house my house don't have a now a garden inside Right, let me have one volunteer give me five examples. One volunteer give me five examples. Rebecca, y después Luis. Okay, um, number one. My house don't have enough space. Do we say my house don't or my house doesn't? Doesn't. Uh -huh. Whenever we're going to use the third person singular, we say doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. Enough space. My house has too much yard. Uh, my wait, 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 wait. My house has too much, too much yard. Yard. I don't know. I don't know. That one right there. I think that you can say my house has mm -hmm. enough uh -huh, yard space because too much is like when you say demasiado, right? like negative but i don't think that having yard space is bad i think it's good okay so you can say um, my house no. has enough yard space uh, for a garden 
But when you say too much, for example, um, if this is an example, my neighbors make too much noise, right? It's uh -huh. negative. So we don't say okay. too much for something good. It's maybe for something bad. Okay. Number three, my house don't have enough bedroom. Bedroom. Bedrooms. My house don't or my house doesn't? Doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. Doesn't enough bedrooms. My house doesn't have enough bedrooms. Good. Number four, my house don't have enough parking space. My house don't have or my house doesn't, doesn't have. Doesn't have <laughs> enough parking space. <laughs> okay. Good. And um, number five, my house doesn't have second floor. Oh, excellent, excellent. In this case, we're gonna say my house doesn't have a second floor. A second oh, floor. Okay. Uh, singular second now. Floor. A second floor, good, good. Thank you, Rebecca. Let's applause for Rebecca. Good job. Okay, Luis. Uh, no, is, quedamos en el mismo grupo. Casi las mismas tenemos. That's okay. Quiero ver si la va a decir bien. Let's go. Okay. My house doesn't have parking space. My house doesn't have enough second floor. My house. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My house doesn't have. Repeat. Enough second doesn't floor. Doesn't have second floor. Okay, a ah, second floor. A ah, second floor. A sec ah, second floor. That's right, singular okay. noun. My house doesn't have an out garden inside. Right. Okay. My house doesn't have three trees out. Trees outside, outside, outside. Outside, outside. Outside, outside. Uh, 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 my house doesn't have you know, uh, a yard, a big okay. yard. Okay. No, you could just say yard. My house doesn't have enough yard. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. It's over. Excellent, Luis. Another participant. No, 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 only one, only one more participant. That's it, not too many, only one. Please, please, not too many people, only one. Hi, teacher. Martin. All right, Martin, let me hear your examples. Uh, my house is comfortable, not comfort, comfort. Com my comfortable, house is comfortable. Comfortable enough. Okay, excellent. Comfortable enough. Comfortable enough. Uh, my house have enough space. My house have or my house has. Uh, my house, my house has enough space. Okay. Uh, my house has enough privacy. Enough privacy. And privacy. And privacy. Pra, pra. Privacy. Privacy. My house. My house has no privacy. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. And my house is uh, my house is quiet enough. My house is quiet enough. Good. Mm -hmm. Only teacher. All right. Good job, Martin. Good job, Martin. All right. One more volunteer. One more volunteer. 
Me, Andrea. Okay, go ahead, Andrea. <laughs> yes, okay. My house has enough rooms for visits. Okay. I don't know. It's nice. It's good. It's correct. It's, it's correct. Okay. My house has enough rooms enough room for, for a guest. For a guest. For guests. Okay. For a, okay. a guest. A guest. For a guest. Okay. And my house doesn't have enough enough parking spaces. Okay. My neighbors make too much noisy. Very good. Noisy, no. no noise. 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 Okay. Noise. My neighbors make too much noise. Okay. And my house has enough space. Very good. Thanks. All right. Good job, Andrea. Let me have Kenya. But fear, I have a question. Yes. When is a third person in plural, we use don't. Correct. Third person plural, we use don't. They don't. My house. But if you're talking, uh-huh, because if you're talking about my house, it's singular. Okay. What's your example? But my house is. It's singular. Oh, if you have more than one house, yes, of course. How houses? Oh. Houses, correct. Okay, uh, my house hasn't enough space for a pet. Mm. Mm -mm. No, in this case, we're gonna say that's right. Doesn't good, Maria. You're gonna say my house. Doesn't have enough space for a pet. Good job, Maria. Continue. Kenya? My house is too small. My house is too small. Good. My house has bright enough. Mm, in this case, you could say, uh, my house has enough light. My house, my house has enough light. Good. My house has enough light. Excellent. Continue, Kenya. My, my house is too comfortable. Mm -mm, mm -mm. My house is too comfortable. No, too is like when it's something negative, right? For example, oh. uh, uh -huh, something negative. It's comfortable enough. Correct, right? Too. For example, you can say, uh, and my neighbors. My neighbor's dogs make too much noise. noise, right? That's negative. So you say, my house has enough space. Got it? I have yes, a question. But enough. Who said I have a question? Andrea. Andrea, what is your question? In the first example that Kenya brings, uh -huh. uh, why we don't say don't have? We say doesn't, but I don't know. I don't understand why. What is the my house? This one right here, my house doesn't. Yes. Why? We can say my house don't have enough. Ah, okay, because my house is third person singular. Oh, okay. It's third person singular, right? If I am speaking in the first person, first person, I uh -huh. use don't. For example, I can okay. say, I can say, uh, I don't uh -huh. like 
uh, pizza, for example. I don't like pizza, but if I say my friend, doesn't like. Does oh, okay. Doesn't like pizza, but if it's plural, if they plural, they don't they. Mm -hmm. like pizza. Okay, thanks. Of course, yes. Another question. Another question. Enough is after the the adjective or before. It is it is before the noun? Before the noun, right? We have enough. And the enough. noun is space. That's yeah. the noun. Enough and light is the noun. Oh. Enough and space yeah. is the noun. Another question. And you can say my coffee is hot enough. If it's positive, if you want to say positive, yes. But if it's negative, okay. you say my coffee is too hot, is negative. But okay. if they say my coffee is hot enough, it's positive. Okay, guys, time's up. Ding, ding, ding. We are finished for today. Please continue working on the platform. Finish as much as you can from section three and the midterm exam. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. And enjoy the rain. It's not raining. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop raining. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.